Hello guys, welcome back. Now in the previous tutorial, we created new account records. We created a XML request and then we also converted into a JSON request as well because REST API can work with XML as well as JSON. Now in this tutorial, we are going to insert new student records as well. So let's go ahead and uh, open a new request here. And the request that I'm going to make would be very similar to the one that I've already made in the previous one. So let me just go ahead and copy this whole string just to save time. And then I'm going to paste it over here. So here I'm going to replace the account object with the student record, big student object, because I'm inserting a new student records. And this is going to be a post request because because you are trying to create a new record in the Salesforce. So one thing is the headers, I'm going to pass in one header, which is the authorization header and the token type is bearer and I'm going to pass the access token. So let me just get the latest access token and copy it over here and uh, copy from here. And then we are going to paste it in here. Now in the request body, you can choose either to send the data in an XML format or you can send it in the JSON. So I'm going to keep it in the XML format. And here I'm going to say that I'm creating a new student record and uh, I'm going to close this student tag here. And then inside of the student record, I will be providing the name of the student, the address of the student, the phone number, email. And also if I want to associate this new student with a school, I can do that as well. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say that, hey, I'm going to create, this is going to be the student name, the name of the student. Let's say the name of the student is John Abraham. This is the name of the student and I'm going to provide that. And the next thing would be, let's say the phone number. So this is going to be the phone number of the student 678-909-8888. And then here is going to be the phone number closing tag. And then I'm going to provide the email address of the student. So let's say his address is John at the rate of gmail.com and then here I'm going to close this email tag. Then what else information you want to pass it? So let's say I want to pass the address. So whichever field you want to pass, you can just go ahead and uh, provide the value of those fields. Let's say he lives in Bombay, India. That's the address. And then I'm going to close this tag as well. Now, if you want to provide which school he is studying in, so here I can provide the ID of that school and automatically when this record gets created, it will become part of that school. So let's say I will put him under Bloomingdale. So I will copy the ID of the school and paste it over here. And then I'm going to close this school tag. So this is the student information that I want to create the new student. Let's go ahead and hit the send button. Now you can see here it returned you a status code of 201, which means it's something got created on the server. And this is the ID of the newly created record. Now here, if I go back and if I go under students, you will see a ST008 got created. And this is the name of the student. This is the phone number, the email address and the address that we provided. And if you scroll down, he is linked with this school because the ID that we gave was of this Bloomingdale International School. So now you can create a new student record via this. So as your assignment, I will recommend you to create a new school record and uh, insert it and try to do with the a JSON request, not the XML with the JSON. So that is going to be your assignment. It is going to be very simple. All you have to do is you have to create, either you can create the JSON request directly, or if you know how to create an XML, then you can use the online tools for the conversion purpose and you can use that too. So go ahead and do that example as an assignment for you. And if you want the solution of that assignment, I will cover that in the next tutorial. Thank you.